This screencast will help you complete your pre-enrollment in Naviance. You can access Naviance through the pre-enrollment slides or you can go to Naviance.com. This icon will take you to the website. When you get to Naviance, type in Washburn Rule and select the high school. Please make sure you do not select the alternative school or the middle school. Select student and then you will need to put in your five and three in your password. Last year during pre-enrollment, everyone had to reset their password. There are no more common passwords. If you have forgotten your password, simply click forgot your password, enter your email, and a message will be sent for you to reset it. And when you get in there, it's going to take you to the home page. You go to courses, manage course plan, and this is going to start looking familiar to you because this is where you went to pre-enroll. You're either going to have Washburn Rural High School graduation plan right here, or you're going to have the IB graduation plan. So you click on it, and it's going to show you you have seven, seven credits so far in your plan. And um, those seven credits are for your ninth grade year. Now we want you to go through your plan and make sure that all of these courses that are listed for ninth grade are the ones that you are actually in. If they are not, then you need to go in and change them so your plan is accurate. Now, the reason that they wouldn't be accurate would be if you were a new student who transferred in or if you're a student who made changes to your schedule. So in other words, let's say you pre-enrolled in speech, but then you decided, I'm going to push that off to next year. I'm going to do it as a sophomore. So you can go over here to speech because you, you don't have it in your schedule this year and you can edit and you'll want to delete speech and then you'll want to put the correct class in there so let's say instead of speech you took we'll go back to the plan so instead of speech let's say you took um, design instead and speech was listed for the spring so we're going to go in to fine arts I can just type in design and it should pull it up for us and it did and I'm going to choose spring because that is where I replaced it I replaced speech during my spring semester with um, design so I'm going to click on design and then I'm going to come up here and I'm taking design as a ninth grader and I'm going to add it. So now my ninth grade, I'm going to go back to the plan. So now my ninth grade year is correct. So now we can move on and fill out the rest of the plan. Now you can do this by grade level or you can do it by subject area if you would like or you could do a combination of both whatever suits you um, I want to point out there's 25 credits required to graduate the credits in your plan right here um, there's actually an option to earn 28 credits in four years of high school seven credits a year so you'll actually be putting more courses in than what's required to fill out your entire plan. As you come here to this row, this tells you how many credits you have in your plan for each year and you want seven. Okay. So I'm going to edit, I'm going to start off with English for my 10th grade year. And I've gotten in here for English and I say, okay, um, I'm just taking, I'm going to take the regular English and oh there's grade 11 I think I'll go ahead and do my grade 11 too while I'm in here and 
Now, 12th grade English, you only need one semester. You can take two, and the other semester would count as an elective. Um, I'm going to select, I want to take English 12. So I'm going to put that in there. Now I'm going to go ahead, I want to take English all year. I know I only need a half a year, but I'm going to take it all year. So one of these English courses will count as my, towards my English credits, and it will complete them. And then the other one will go as elective, and that's fine. So I've got to go up here then, or wherever that bar is, there it is, and save my changes. Now this arrow here will always let you go back to your main course plan page. So you can see it all. You can see the whole plan. All right. So as you can see here, I have my 10th and 11th grade English on already. I'm not sure what happened with my... I thought I picked the other English. So we'll go back in and see what I need to do with that English that I thought I selected. Let's see. Go to the list here. And I'm wanting English 12, and it is down here. Okay, so let's see if that did it for me. All right, I'm going to go back to my plan, and there it is. So there's my English 12. There's one semester, which completes my English. You'll see the check mark. So the check mark means I've got this category done. So I don't need to go back in there unless I'm wanting to make changes to it. I don't need to add any more to it unless I just want to go in and make some changes. The other English appeared down here in my electives. So that's how that works. All right. And you can see my total. I've got 10 credits in my plan so far. All right, so math, you go in and you edit courses for math. I've got math one in for ninth grade. I'm going to click on the list, and I'm going to choose. I'm actually, we have a lot of math classes, so I'm going to type in integrated math two and search for it. And there it is. So I'm going to select it. Now, if you're doing honors, make sure you're picking honors. And then I'm going to go up, and I'm going to say I'm taking that for 10th grade. And I'm going to add it. Now I could go through, I'm going to go back to the beginning um, page so I can see my whole plan. Now I can go back and I can work on my junior math if I want to, what I'm going to take my 11th grade year. Um, or I can move on and complete my 10th grade year. So as you can see, world history is complete because you did. I did that my freshman year. If you didn't take world history your freshman year, you need to sign up for it your sophomore year. PE is complete. Now you can do more PE classes. They'll just be in the elective category. So if this category is already checkmarked, you go down to the elective category. Biology is already done. So physical science, we can put some physical science in for my sophomore year, I'm going to do physics. It is a physical science, so I'm going to put physics in there. All right, so there's the physics class. Then I come up here, and I select that I'm doing it for 10th grade, and then I add it. And then I want to go back and look at my plan again. So as you can see, when you scroll down, now my physical science category has a check mark, so it's complete. All right, so your goal is to have all of your courses on 
and have 28 credits in your plan. Because like I said, for senior year, we can always take, uh, we can always reduce your schedule when it comes to your senior year. So just pay attention to, do I have seven credits up here? Are all of these categories taken care of? And main thing, you know, do I have the courses I needed to take courses later? So if I'm wanting to be in coffee shop later, have I taken the courses leading up to being in coffee shop my 11th grade year? If I want to do teaching as a career, have I taken the prerequisites to be able to be in the teaching as a career class? So sometimes students will work backwards and they'll put those courses in here and then they'll go back and try to get them. For you, it would be if you put them in for 11th grade, you want to try to get those courses done in 10th grade because ninth grade you've already you already got your courses scheduled so um, we encourage you to get this plan completed um, this plan is going to help organize yourself um, help you know what you're going to uh, take from year to year um, it'll help you with pre-enrollment because all you'll need to do then is go in and make a few edits if there are any edits that you need to make uh, pre-enrollment will draw from this plan so uh, we encourage you to get this done soon. And if you have any questions, please contact your counselor. Thank you.